everyone. Happy Saturday. Say hi when you're hopping on. Tell me what you're doing today. It is like almost three o'clock here in my town and I decided to go live because I wanted to show you guys a really pretty palette. And then I also wanted to invite you all to my where is my business group? There you go. To my um, boot camp that I'm having next week, starting Monday. My friend Katie and I are doing an eyeshadow boot camp. It's completely free. So you're able to join from wherever you are at whatever time that you want. We are going to do one live video, and that will be on Monday, but you'll be totally able to replay it um, if you don't ha if you can't hop on at the time that we're doing it. We're doing the video at 8 p.m. Central on Monday, 9 p.m. Eastern. So if you're not able to, it's not a big deal because you can just hop on whenever. Um, that's the good thing about doing these virtual classes is you can just do whatever you want and you can hop on whenever you want. Now, if you have been watching me, come say hi. I'm sharing this to a couple of groups. Ah, uh, Command V, there we go. I'm um, sharing it to a couple of groups. If you are, um, have you watched for a while and you share this out and I get 10 shares on a single video, I do a gift card giveaway. So make sure that you're sharing this out to your network. I do need to be able to see it on your page, on your particular page. So make sure you do that. Okay, this is the palette that we're going to use today. All right, so this color right here is called, what did I pull out, Timid. And then this is Jealous, Fervent, and Optimistic. Now, this color here, the reason that I pulled Timid out is, is pretty close to my, hey, good morning, this is, or good afternoon, Kara. <laughs> this is pretty close to my skin tone. If you have a lighter skin tone than I do, I would use this one, which is called, I wrote it down somewhere, Laid Back. I could also use this one, but I'm gonna use the color Timid today because that's most like my skin tone. And the only thing that I'm going to do with this color is I'm going to put it all over my um, eyelid here. So let me just pull you in just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Don't forget to share this out. Um, this is old school, right? There are so many new different kinds of eyeshadows out there. Even Unique released um, a new formula for their um, eyeshadow sticks. By the way, they are selling out like hotcakes. Um, these are the only three, if I can find it, that are left. Um, hey, Jane, good morning or good afternoon. These are the only three that are left. And so I'm going to do a little pause on those and not use them as much and use the other types of eyeshadows that are on sale. Um, and this is one of them, old school eyeshadow. I know that you have eyeshadow palettes like I did before I started with Unique of all different kinds of eyeshadow with um, eyeshadows that look like this or even more gone and the other eyeshadows you didn't touch because you didn't know how to use them. Well, that's what I'm for. I'm gonna be 60 years old and I love helping women in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. I have a client who is almost 80 years old and she loves my tutorials because it makes her feel empowered to do her makeup in any way that she wants, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about. So we just put this one all over the lid. The only reason that we do that is so that these three shadows have something to cling to um, and they're able, you're able to blend them easily. As you know, when you get older, you begin to lose hydration and all the places. And your eyelids are either going to be one of two things. They're going to be oily or they're going to be dry. Mine happen to be dry. And this just helps the eyeshadows to blend better. Okay. Now the next color that we're going to go into is this color Jealous here. And we're going to take that same brush and we're just going to put it there. Tap it off. You always want to tap it off because you don't need a lot of this color. And we're going to come right to the corner here. Hey, 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 everybody share because if I get 10 shares, mine doesn't count. If I get 10 shares, we are going to do a $10 gift card. I would love to do a gift card. We're just tapping this color right here in the corner. Okay, now, and I'm going to show you a technique that I learned from a makeup artist called Robert Welsh. Um, genius. I don't know why all the men um, makeup artists are so good. They're so good. But I'm going to show you a technique that he showed that he does, and it was just mind blowing to me. He begins to put the eyeshadow 
in where he wants it, like in the crease area. And then he says to open the eye and begin to do that windshield wiper motion. And if you notice the eyeshadow, even though I have a hooded eye, comes up because that's what the brush does. The brush does the work for you. So you do not have to guess um, what where the eyeshadow goes. It does it for you. I think that is an ingenious trick. Now, if you have hooded eyes or you're 40, 50, close to 40, 50 and over, as I said, I'm going to be 60 years old this year. You want everything to be lifted. I do my bronzer and my blush in a way that lifts everything up because we're not getting older and everything or younger and everything is falling. So we want to lift everything up. So the way to do that is to take that eyeshadow and just begin to pull it toward your temple. That's really all you have to do. If you mess up, don't worry about it. That's what concealer is for, is to fix all of that. And then you can darken it any way that you want, but this is good for me. This is called a transition color. We're just gonna blend that so it's super light and airy. All right, let's do the other side. Just gonna tap it here in the corner. Start with a little, you can always add more. It's harder to take away, obviously, than to build up the color. There we go. We just want to bring it in like that. And we're just doing like a windshield wiper motion. And again, we want to pull that up toward the tempo. Let me move my hair out of the way so you can see. We're gonna pull that toward the tempo to get that lifted effect. Now, this eye is not as pulled as this one. Can you see the difference? This eye is looking a little bit more open than this eye because we've drug it down. So let's go ahead and add more. I love eyeshadow. Eyeshadow and lipstick are my two things that I just could not go out of the house without. Even if it's just putting bronzer on my eyes, I have to have something. But see how great that is and how that really just opened my eyes. We're gonna blend this one a little bit more. I think this side's a little bit lighter, so we're gonna add a little bit more here. And then again, open the eye and bring it toward the temple. I can fix that with concealer if it looks sloppy. No big deal. There we go. How pretty is that? Now you could grab your mascara, your eyeliner, or just your mascara, put that on and run out the door. This would be perfect. One color eyeshadow out the door, this would be great, and you could just go on about your day. But we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add this color right here. This color is called Fervent. This color is actually in our business kit. I thought I brought my water in here and I did not. Um, it's, it's actually in our business kit. Um, if you would like more information on the business kit and how you can make money doing what I'm doing here and earning trips, I'm gonna go on a cruise and March of 24, I'm super excited about it. That'll be a trip that I have earned. Um, I have sold $151,000 in makeup in five and a half years. And so don't tell me that this doesn't work because it does. So, all right, we're gonna come in, but that's a whole side note. That's a whole nother conversation. Um, but this is called Fervent and we're just gonna tap it in here. This is a fluffy crease brush. You do not need a lot. I tapped it three times very lightly and then I tapped most of it off. Again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and just tap this into the corner, just like that. Now I want a little bit more. I know about how much I want. So I'm gonna add a little bit more and then again, do that windshield wiper motion and it's going to go exactly where it needs to go. Just like that. And we're gonna bring that up toward the temple here. How gorgeous is this look? I'm not going anywhere today. I've already gone. I went to Hy-V and I don't need to go anywhere else <laughs> because Hy-V was enough. Two hours I was there, but it's a beautiful store. I think they're gonna do well here. All right, so see how you just begin to blend windshield wiper motion and then bring it up this way. Another way that you can do it is you can take a very tiny brush like this one and you can take the color and you can draw a line from about here to here. Oh, did you go to the bakery? I did not. I, well, well, I bought peanut butter cookies. They're already prepackaged, but I want one of those cakes. <laughs> one of those cakes is what I want. 
<laughs> oh goodness. I would love to do lunch there sometime or breakfast would be fun to do like in the little cafe area. All right, we're just blending back and forth. Were they crazy when you went? There was a lot of people. Yes, after two hours, I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> it's a lot of people. It's a lot of peopling if you're not a people person. And you know, I like I didn't know where anything was and so I'm walking back and forth. Um, and so that was a little issue too, but that's okay. Now that I know kind of where everything is, and they took the DSW out. I asked about that. He said because it took up too much space. Oh, yeah. I was by myself. Did you? Was it? I bought some um, buns for the Super Bowl tomorrow. We're going to... I told my husband I would make him um, some hot beef sandwiches for the Super Bowl. We don't really care who wins. Our team's not in it, so... <laughs> But all right, so see, so this is another thing. You could just put your mascara on, go out the door. I was too, but it's okay. If I really wanted to go to DSW, I would. <laughs> so, all right, now we're going to do something that I don't do often, and that is put some color down here. I don't do it often because I think for me, it makes, it drags my face down, but I know that a lot of you do it. So I want to show you a little trick that I learned. Um, sometimes as you grow older, or even if you're a mom, you're exhausted. Your eyes are red, um, you you know, and you want to do that really fun look under there. But sometimes when you use a color that has a red pigment in it or red based or orange based or something like that, then that really makes your eyes look more red. And I'm gonna show you how to combat that. So we're gonna take this brush here. This is a pretty stiff little brush. And we're just gonna tap it in like twice. And then we're really gonna tap it off. And we're gonna take this color and we're going to come down here on our lash line, but we're not gonna go all the way in. If you want to go all the way in, do it. That's not for me, okay? We're gonna come all the way in, or I'm sorry, halfway in, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this brush here. Oh, before we do that, let's do the one other trick. We're gonna take this brown, black, whatever color you wanna use, and we're gonna Put this on the water line, but just a little bit. This is the part you know I don't do normally. What that's gonna do is create a barrier. Let me show you. I'll do it on the other side quick so you can see the difference. So this side is bloodshot. This side's not too bad, but it is still kind of bloodshot because I'm tired because my cats get me up at 4 a.m. So this side looks larger because what I've done is I've diffused that bloodshotness so it looks white, so it looks whiter. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And this, because I haven't added the brown yet, the brown eyeliner still looks closed off, that kind of thing. So what I'm gonna do with this tool here, this pointed end or the, the uh, the slanted, I was gonna take this brown and pull it into the fervent color. Just like that, make your face, because if you don't make your face, it doesn't go on right. There we go. So see how much wider this looks versus this one? It's such a subtle trick, but it works. I'm just like, why does that work? I don't know why it works, but it works. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do the eyeliner on this side. And it's not much. I'm not really not putting a lot on there. So knowing this trick will make my eyes look whiter, I might start doing this. I had to practice because obviously I'm not going to show you something that I would not do, um, even if I just did it once in a while. But we're just going to blend these two colors together. Let me know if you would try this. There. There. Now, all the products that I'm using on my eyes today are on sale, by the way. They're in the, I'll, I'll put a link down there. There. Let me put the link really quick. Um, F-U-L dot com. I'm thinking about changing my website name. 
There we go. Um, if you click that link, you'll get to the website and where everything is on sale. Okay, so this eye actually looks like more downward. Use new. Does that work for you to diffuse the um, color to the redness? We're going to pull this one up a little bit. <laughs> Jane, <laughs> look cheap. What does that mean? You don't like that co dark colors? What do you mean cheap? What does that mean, Jane? All right, let me pull out my, if I can find it, here it is. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this here so it's not drugged down. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of concealer there. Oh, sometimes I do. And it's just like on one end of my eye, like so on the outside of the eye, like my dad, I remember my dad having that. And so I think I probably got it from him. So, all right, so the last and final color, and this, now again, you could take this, wear it to work, it'd be great. Um, now we're gonna add this color Optimistic, and we're gonna take this brush that we've already used, we're gonna use this uh, soft end here, and we're just gonna pat it. Sometimes you see makeup artists or other creators take their brushes and they're really like digging in um, to the colors and then they're really packing it on. The reason they're doing that is because the colors are not pigmented that you only need a little. So what I'm saying to you is begin just tapping a couple of times. That That's too much. <laughs> I'm gonna tap some of that off. I really just needed to tap once. So we're just gonna tap once. Okay, so what you do is you come to like where your pupil is Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Um, you take the um, the, shy, the eyeshadow and you come to where your pupil would be and you just kind of tap it in toward the inner corner. So we're just going to do that. Okay. And then if you need more, so look, that is just like great right there. If you need more, get a little bit more. We're going to add just a little bit right here, right where your pupil would be. So when you close your eyes, it's kind of in the center, and when you open your eyes, you can still see it. So see how pretty that is? I'm actually gonna add a little bit more of this fervent right there. Just a little bit there. Okay, all right, let's do the other side. I did too much. All right, and we're just gonna tap it. The other reason you wanna tap it is because it is a shimmer. You don't want shimmer all over your face, especially if you've already done your face makeup like I have, you don't want, to, you don't want that on your face a little bit. There we go. Isn't that pretty? It's just so pretty. I just love it. All right, let's go ahead and blend a little bit. We're gonna blend this one into all those colors and then we're gonna do our mascara. Now, if you want really fly lashes and you want to curl them, do it, do it. I don't always curl because I just don't. I just, for me, for my um, lashes, whatever. Oh, one thing I did want to tell you before I forget. Sometimes when you have hooded eyes and you really want that color to be seen, sometimes you'll bring the eye shadow way up to your brows. One little tip is I'm going to tell you is don't do that because it's going to actually drag everything down. And so make sure that you have a space here um, right under your arch of your eyebrow eyebrow to your temple or whatever to the end of your eyebrow okay all right let's go ahead and do this we're going to grab a mirror now you can look at your eyes make sure everything is good this is a, a zoomed in mirror looks good to me looks great again not an eye look i would do every day because i'm not a huge fan of this but i wanted to show you how to diffuse that white color so that was the purpose all right, we're gonna go ahead and use our eye, our lash primer. This is gonna help your lashes stay conditioned. If you are someone who doesn't like to put mascara on your bottom, don't do it. We're looking down into a mirror because I do not want to get any mascara on the eyeshadow that we just worked so hard to do. So don't or look down into your mirror, I should say. Okay, all right, now we're gonna do the um, 4D mascara today. I've been wearing the Twisted all week, and so I wanna 
put this on. I did go to the store today, but I just wore like very minimal makeup. Um, I did a little bit of foundation, a little bit of eyeshadow. I think I just did, oh, I did the sticks. I did a video for the sticks, but you know, it's selling out. Don't forget the class starts on Monday. I'm so excited about the, we're gonna do a live video Monday at 8 p.m. Central. You will be able to watch it back in the group. Um, if you want that invitation, just say class below. Or if you're in my VIP group, I put the link in my VIP group. Um, we're going to go live in a group that Katie and I have had for quite a while. It's kind of our dual group. Um, so it's really good. It's a really fun group. It's got like 450 people in there. Okay, so really to make everything, again, go lifted, take your mascara and put your mascara this way. And then come out and really focus on that outer corner. That's really gonna lift everything up. And I saw this makeup artist do it and she said, like it makes you look like you have false lashes. I don't know if that's true, but I like how it lifts everything up. Everything's lifted. I like it. All right, let's go ahead and do this. So just say class below if you want to be in that class. Again, whoops, it's free. Got a piece of hair there. And um, you can invite your friends. There will be two giveaways. Um, one for commenting and participating. And then one will be for another reason. Katie and I practiced. Um, we're going to use her. It's called StreamYard. And so we'll be able to see comments and whatnot. And we'll be able to go dual. Because she um, is a huge creator over on YouTube. And so she streams her videos to all the platforms at the same time. It's a paid service, of course, and I don't have that. If I had more followers on YouTube, I would do that. And we're working on it, but YouTube's hard because there's a lot of people on YouTube. There you go. What do you guys think? I love this eyeshadow palette. Hey, Debbie. Oh, Debbie did a beautiful eyeshadow today and sent it to me and said how's this look it looked amazing it looked amazing so good job debbie i love it when people do that when they send me looks that they've tried even if it's not unique makeup but they've tried a technique i love that love 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 that okay so what do you guys think ah this is this is gonna be a palette i don't know what to call it but this is gonna be a palette that i keep together you know what i'm saying so um debbie did you join the class did you see the link that I sent you? Did you join the class? Thank you. Thanks, Kara. What do you guys think? So easy, right? You can wear this to the office. And I think that if you wanted to spice it up for, thank you, Jane. If you wanted to fight, spice it up like for a date night, just darken this outer corner. That's what you could do. So, all right. All right, that is it, you guys. I hope you have an amazing afternoon. I'm gonna go uh, do a couple more <laughs> videos. Uh, for our class. I'm super excited to get started on that. And then I will see you all later. Okay. Have an amazing day. Remember that you are kind and you are strong. You're beautiful. You are smart. You are loved and you are watched. So go be those things. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.